So here we are in lovely Regency Brighton, uh, blue skies down for a thoroughly enjoyable dirty weekend um, to check out the Brighton Pavilion constituency, which is probably the most interesting constituency in the country for the next election. How did you get on with your, I suppose the media would say, chief opponent, Carolyn Lucas? Did you go out for dinner to chat things over of an evening? She doesn't like me very much. <laughs> Why? What's her I objection? Know. I don't know. I think it's just because I'm a conservative. She has quite a, a, I would call it a dated view of conservative. She you know, encourages people to vote green because it's anti-Tory. I think we've possibly come past that and, and, and would like people to, you know. Well, she's a crypto-Marxist, presumably, isn't she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The Greens are saying that this is a straight fight between them and the Tories. Uh, I think they're telling lies, uh, because the Tories say it's a straight fight between them and Labour, and my guess is that Labour will say it's a straight fight between them and the Tories. You can't tell, you can't tell. But nonetheless, at the moment, the Greens seem to be nosing in front. If you look at their literature, they are focusing very much on what the bookies say. The bookies say we're going to win, so we're going to win and their own poll, which ICM did in December. A poll that was done a couple of months ago put them in third place. One of the interesting things about, about the way elections have been going in the last 20 years is the incredible uh, drop in support for the two main parties, Labour and Conservative, um, and the rise, partly in the Lib Dem vote, uh, but partly also in people not voting at all, but more recently, a huge rise, an absolutely huge rise, uh, from a small base uh, for people voting for fourth, fifth, sixth parties, such as the Green Party, which is why we're here. What I'm finding is that people that voted Green in the past are very open about the fact it was a protest vote and very clear about the fact that that doesn't mean they don't identify themselves with the Green Party as Green Party Do you think they know Green Party policies other than a sort of vague idea? No, it's, that no green. because it's, it's very much oppositionist, it's very much yeah. a protest vote. You get the feeling that there is this massive disillusion with the two main parties. Difficult one for you to answer really, but I would guess that with your liking for electoral reform and with a radical view of what an MP should be in of Parliament, that actually a Green MP here wouldn't be a bad idea. It would be quite an exciting thing and a breaking of the mould. I suppose it's pushing it a bit for you to say that, isn't it? A lot of people have suggested that, but electing an MP should be more about being seen to break the system in Parliament. Well, if yeah. we're going to change the system in Parliament, we should change it properly. We should overhaul it. Well, we're now going to uh, what is presumably a mung bean and lentil cafe uh, to meet the Green candidate, Carolyn Lucas. Is the green pitch in Brighton one of a sort of eco-friendly, but, I mean, is it, is, it, is it a left-wing party in Brighton in the same way that it is, say, in Tower Hamlets, or...? I think it, I think it is a left-centre party, absolutely. I, I think people know us here for our eco-friendliness, and what we're absolutely running on, and the key thing, is about jobs, it's about the economy, it's about fairness. It's an odd thing that, that uh, here in Brighton Pavilion, the Greens are the favourites, um, and not just the favourites, but they have the strongest organisation in a way. I mean, they, they don't have the money that the Tories and the Labour Party have, but they have the most practised and professional of the candidates. You know, Carolyn Lucas has been around for a long time at the head of her party. The theory is always that your vote is soft, that it's there, and it's been incredibly well nurtured by uh, Mr Taylor. Uh, and by the party locally, and you've done incredibly well, but it's nonetheless soft when it comes to it. Well, it hasn't been when when it when it did come to it. So let's look at the Hove by-election where everybody said don't because it was a Tory seat and the Tories stood down, and everybody said don't vote for me. This is a Tory seat. You'll let the Tories in. You know, Labour's in second place now. Let Labour win this. And we came from third place to win that in Hove. It's the first seat we've ever taken from the Tories. I don't think our vote is soft. It does look good for the Greens. Uh, but it's, it would be such an achievement to, to beat that three-party system. Uh, I wonder if they can do it. I don't know.